Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Fly OBE has received another update, this time to version 1.10. And the developer is pushing out updates for this app at a rate of knots and really giving this app quite a lot of attention. And Fly OBE, just a quick recap, is a utility that's built to remove the restrictions that Microsoft enforces during the installation of Windows 11 especially with version 24H2. So basically it's a bypass tool to get past the strict hardware restrictions that Microsoft has put in place to install Windows 11. Now, according to the developer, this is a major update and there's quite a lot going on. So just a quick video to give you a quick overview because this is becoming quite a popular bypass app, as you may well know. Now, first of all, the repo has finally been renamed from Fly Bar 11, which was the previous name, now to Fly OBE. And the developer says that navigation has been restructured. So they've introduced a modern bottom navigation with next button. And the OBE installer now follows a clear step-by-step -step flow the developer says, I replaced the old right side tree view with large tappable buttons at the bottom, making navigation easier and more comfortable than narrow tree nodes. The AR detection and review has been improved. They've improved the refresh buttons. Now, in some cases, it's mentioned no Wi-Fi networks were shown when location services were disabled. And since Windows requires location access for Wi-Fi scanning, this resulted in empty results. So they've improved the behavior regarding this. So if access is denied, the app now displays a helpful message and redirects the user to the Windows location settings to enable access. They've improved control naming conventions to align with Microsoft Windows style, making the interface more intuitive and familiar for users. They've ex the experience page has been streamlined by removing redundancies related to Microsoft Edge, AR, and UR. AR features have been moved into a dedicated OOBE page. The scripting support has been extended for setup extensions. Now anyone can provide PowerShell scripts. And extensions now can also be downloaded directly via a URL. And local extensions scripts can be impor imported from your PC. Now, while we are talking about extensions, there are four new extensions. The first one is the, the default power plan, which can quickly switch between balanced high performance and battery saver during setup. There are file explorer tweaks where you can configure common explorer settings such as showing file extensions, showing hidden files or opening the, this PC by default. There's a post setup cleanup where you can remove temporary files, windows.old, component store leftovers and update caches to free up disk space after installation. And the last one, there's a Windows 11 honest mode where you can inspect telemetry settings, startup apps and scheduled tasks to reveal what Windows is running in the background. So as mentioned, a major update according to the developer with Fly OOBE 1.10. And just putting it out there, if you are using the app, which I know some of you are, and this has received quite a lot of positive review in the comments I have seen on the channel. So that's why I'm just trying to keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.